Hello and welcome to End Screen Noise. My name is Colin Dixon and I'm founder and chief analyst at End Screen Media. And today is March 22nd, 2013. This week we're playing and I quote, and I'm starting off with a quote from Lance Sloan, head of original programming at Warner Brothers Digital Distribution. And he was at OTTCon, as I was this week, and he showed a really fabulous trailer from a new online live action version of Mortal Kombat that he is releasing. It looked absolutely superb. And afterwards, he said, one of these days, one of these features will be a success financially. Very sad that something this good looks like it's not going to be a success. And certainly if eMarketeer is correct, it probably won't be. They say that online video advertising will be worth about $4 billion this year versus television advertising, which will be worth 66. And it is likely that the increase in television advertising between 2012 and 2013 will be as big as the total video advertising revenue number for this year. So pretty sad there. Now, my panel at OTTCon, I asked them if they thought that Eric Huggers from Intel, his virtual MSO service could be successful. And four out of five of them said, yes, they thought it would be or could be a success going forward. All of them thought that there was a good possibility that he would be able to get the content. And since Discovery was on my panel, Sean Atkins, he would be delighted for, the, for them to pay him money for his content. But on the following panel, Tom Morgan, CEO of net to tv he commented that they will probably get the content, but if the ads can't be counted, then the, the service will not be a success. So if Nielsen can't count it, it's just a non-starter. Now, the one dissenter on my panel to the Eric Huggers and Intel question was John Cody from TV4. And I was talking to John afterwards, and one of the things he said was that he didn't think local was local enough. And he's actually a, an old TV insider, worked for Fox for many years. He has quit, formed his own company to for, focus 100% on broadband TV. And he is launching his own show, which he's calling 10 Block, to focus on the 10 blocks in which he lives and works in Hollywood. And he already has his shows lined up. He has one show called Girls on Bikes with two ladies riding around the 10 block radius with head cams and recording locals. He'll also be doing shows about restaurants and street art and oh, all of the events that happen in that 10 block radius. I can't wait to see it. Now, I jumped on the plane Tuesday afternoon and headed over to London for TV Connect, where visiting also from the States was Bob Zitter, EVP and CTO of HBO. Now, Bob is retiring this year and he said, because he's retiring, he can say anything. And what he went on to say was, 3D TV with glasses is dead. Now, I think pretty much we all realized that 3D wasn't doing very well. I certainly have been a non-believer in 3D TV with glasses for the last three years. And it's great to hear somebody from Hollywood confirm that. But hold on to your hats. He went on to say, I'm skeptical 4K, that's Ultra HD, will take off either. He said that you can't see the difference between 4K and 1080p at smaller screen sizes, that the screen has to be really very, very large in order for it to be really visible. And he actually went on to say, the only way this will be successful is if we have wall-sized televisions. Got a spare wall for a TV? I certainly don't. Now, in that same session, another one of the keynoters was Daniel Danker. He is GM of the BBC's iPlayer. And he said that the iPlayer was being adopted faster than the refrigerator was adopted, color television was adopted, and even DVD players. So phenomenal performance from BBC's iPlayer.
But he also went on to say some very interesting things about usage. They're seeing a lot of requests and the majority of requests are coming now not from the PC. The PC is 41%, whereas mobile platforms are 36% and other TV platforms are 23%. Now the other TV platforms are things like Virgin Media's VOD system, which, have a, which has a version of BBC iPlayer. But it's interesting that the PC is no longer the top requester. Now he also said that connected televisions actually had a banner year. They went from just 1% of requests last year to 2% this year. That is horrible performance. His explanation is simple. The platform is fragmented, but more than that, the user interfaces simply aren't very consistent and they are not, in his words, delightful. So I think I agree with all his comments. We need to do a lot better if connected TVs are gonna take off. We need a lot more commonality between those platforms in order for consumers to embrace them. Now, if you haven't had a chance to go to the website and pick up a copy of the second screen apps for TV report, which is free, then you should hop on over there right now. Lots of cool data in that report like uh, 280 million second screen apps have been, second, second screen TV apps have been downloaded so far uh, and lots more detail there. So hop on over to the site and grab a copy. We'll see you again next time.